Mark Archer, 2099. Good name. How do you get girls to like you if you're not that good-looking celebrity type of guy that they dream of? Ask them if they can kiss you on the cheek and boom. Girlfriend and boyfriend. It's simple. Just have lots and lots of money. All girls like money. If you want girls to like you, you just gotta update everything. You know, get new clothes, a fresh haircut, and you'll be looking fly, and girls will like you. Try and change your look so that they notice you more, like your hair, like get an afro. Afros are the best. Afros for life. Somebody will like you for who you are, but... That might not be in like high school because some high school girls are mostly like, <laughs> I like the cute guys. Personality has a lot to do with it, so if you have a great personality, then you're probably a great guy, and girls like great guys. There are a lot of girls who don't necessarily just go for guys on their looks. You'll see a lot of beautiful women married to men who are not even good looking. That's the type of girl you probably want to go for. You are awesome in every single way, shape, and form, and someone is bound to see that eventually. So stop trying to be one of those good looking celebrity types. Just be you and you'll get a girl. Reline B3. Reline B3. How do I stop being addicted to Starbucks? Oh. One does not stop being addicted to Starbucks. Starbucks addicts you. The secret is that uh, Starbucks actually puts addictive materials into their drinks, so you can't. Oh, Rebe, there is no cure. It is an epidemic that I myself am a victim of. Try to sort of go on a Starbucks diet and limit yourself to like once a week. Just like with any addiction, go cold turkey. If you go by there every day, then you have to change your route. That would help. Go to some other coffee place every once in a while. Go to McDonald's and get the same thing almost for a lot cheaper price. You should get a coffee maker for home. That way you're not spending so much on Starbucks. Get a juicer. They got all kind of great juices and blenders out now. Make your own juice. I don't know about Starbucks, but try energy bars. They're better. I'm addicted to Starbucks. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Their coffee and those hot chocolates are amazing. Their chocolate's amazing. Their apples are amazing. Come on, who does not like Starbucks? Sparkle Kitty. Ooh. How can I get my parents to stop posting embarrassing things about me on Facebook? In order for them to put it on Facebook, you have to do something that's embarrassing, so next time, don't do it. Tell them that's ruining their, your social life. Or if you don't have a social life, tell them that you want to get a social life. Speak to your parents. That's really the, the way to go, because uh, they should not be doing that. Try not to hurt their feelings. Just tell them that something's embarrassing. You have to tell them, well, if you don't think that it's embarrassing, well, I do, and you have to care. You can make your profile very private and then defriend them on Facebook. If they're doing that to you and embarrassing you that way, just unfriend them. Maybe you should report your parents to the Facebook police. Comment back embarrassing things about them, like drunk stories of what they did when they were drunk. They will always do it. It will always embarrass you. And you just have to live with it and laugh about it and show it to all your friends, and then everyone will laugh, and it'll all be fun. That vloggers channel. The two vloggers channel, or no, actually, the two vloggers Chanel wants to know, how do I help my friend get over a breakup? God, to be a teenager again. Broke up with many girls. Go to the park, swim in your pool, watch movies, eat popcorn when you watch movies. Do stuff like that. Go to the movies, go to the mall, go to the skate park. Play a game, distract yourself. If you're a guy, have like a all night video game marathon. Or if you're a girl, do whatever girls do when they sleep over. Make sure you're supportive, go over there with a big tub of ice cream or if they're lactose intolerant. I don't know, sucks to be you. They should know that you really do care about them and that you're gonna be with them for, you know, however long it may take. Be a good listener. That's really what they need more than anything. And then when someone breaks your heart, then they'll be there for you too. Max Votolato. Max Votolato. How do I get Michael Bay to make better movies? I don't know who Michael Bay is. I'm not sure I know who, how Michael Bay is. Maybe Michael Bay is some sort of sex symbol or something. See if he has uh, Facebook and write on his wall. Find out who his publicist is and give him your view. There's no storyline to his movies, and that's what makes him so 
freaking terrible. You take away the element of CGI, like you just completely erase that program from like every one of his movies. Get together with Clint Eastwood, have Clint, Clint Eastwood teach him how to do it. Hey, Michael Bay, get better ideas. He's probably gonna put a thumbs down on this. He is never gonna subscribe. As long as his movies make money, he ain't gonna change. Michael Bay makes good movies, okay? What did Michael Bay ever do to you? Transformers is a fantastic movie series. More explosions equals better. Go up to him and say more explosions than ever before. You need more explosions, kapow, boom, wah! He's working really hard. He's probably making a movie today. You don't know how hard it is to make movies because he makes amazing movies. He tries his best. He works hard. He works harder every day. So stop saying that stuff. Thanks for watching another episode of Advice. Subscribe. There are new shows every week. We love answering your questions, so keep them coming. Bye. Bye. Cubic explosion. 